Good evening. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm Suzanne Hirsch. I'm the executive director here, and this is always one of my favorite days. It just always, when I leave, I'm beaming with pride at all the things that your students have accomplished while they've been here and before. Um, we want to welcome you all and hope that if there's anybody who couldn't join you today, this is being live streamed, so you're welcome to um, let them know that they can pick it up on our uh, website or social media pages. Um, we also are really excited about this year. I can't believe it's April and the year's almost over. Um, it's gone really, really fast. And I know as parents, you think it probably has as well. Um, but we still have about a month left. And we're I'd like to welcome our FGA president to the stage to um, lead us in our Pledge of Allegiance. Shakira Brent, would you please come forward? You look great. Thank you. Will everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. In an effort to be most expedient today, we are not going to call out the names who we know who are absent. Um, if there is a course in which a highest average is not awarded, either that student is absent or three or more students might have met the criteria for that, in which case no award would be given. We will announce um, Artistic Excellence Awards, Hall of Fame, as well as a new uh, award today, so we're really excited to do that as well. To begin our program, I'd like to ask our counselor, Dr. Harley Blau, to come forward and recognize the accomplishments of our students. This year, we launched the Collegiate Academy for juniors to enroll in this associate degree program while MSA. Additionally, students were offered free dual credit courses through Kapaya Lincoln Community College. And today we would like to recognize the near completion of the first year with our Collegiate Academy. Here to recognize our Collegiate Academy students and to present senior scholarship awards from Kapaya Lincoln Community College is Ms. Katie Davis. Good afternoon. My name is Katie Davis, and on behalf of Dr. Dwayne Middleton with Kapai Lincoln Community College and the Board of Trustees, I'm pleased to recognize the following student who has accepted a scholarship to Colin for her ACT academic achievement, um, Miss Ava Rose Lambert. Welcome to. Welcome to the Wolfpack family. <laughs> I am also honored to present a special group of students with a certificate of achievement for participation in our Collegiate Academy program. This is our first group of students to participate in such a program and we are extremely proud of their hard work. In addition to their full load of classwork here at Mississippi School of the Arts, um, these students has, have also completed their first year of college coursework. As I call your name, please come forward and receive your certificate of achievement. Um, the first is Samuel Crump. Um, 
Samuel has also received an um, achievement for being on the president's list, so congratulations. Miss awesome. Kalea Anderson. Ms. Iris Bernard. Cooper Brumfield. Ava Buckley. Parker Burns. Magdalene. Maggie Desendor. <laughs> Lucy Dick. Caden <laughs> Eaker. Cooper Finley. <laughs> Brianna Fuentes. <laughs> Edie Kitchens. Sarah Laban. Kendra Quarterman. Sine Robinson. And Anna Sheridan. Sheridan. Congratulations to you all. I'm excited to have you um, as part of the Wolfpack family. Thank you. Here to present scholarship awards from Mississippi College is TJ Williams. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here with you all this afternoon. We're so proud of all of the students of MSA, but especially those that are coming to join us to become a part of the Mississippi College family. This year, we get the privilege to award three of your students awards that total $250,000 over the next four years. That deserves a round of applause. So, on behalf of our president, 
Dr. Blake Thompson and the rest of the Choctaw family, it's my pleasure to, prevent the, to present the following students these scholarships. Shakira Brent. <laughs> the Speed Full Tuition Scholarship. Sarah Lawrence is receiving the Speed Full Tuition Scholarship. <laughs> Cadence Patton <laughs> is receiving the Speed Full Tuition Scholarship. Thank you for having us today, and go Choctaws. Here to present scholarship awards for Mississippi State University is Mr. Brooks Hill. Good afternoon. My name is Brooks Hill. Uh, I'm the admissions counselor for Mississippi State for Central and Southwest Mississippi, so I get to represent uh, Mississippi School of the Arts. Um, this year we have one student who is receiving some scholarship from Mississippi State University, so on behalf of Dr. Mark Keenum and Mississippi State University as a whole, I am presenting the Freshman Academic Excellence Scholarship, the Colbert Future Leader Scholarship, and the Beverly B. Goldman Memorial Scholarship to Emma Pounty. Thank you, and Hell State. Here to present scholarship awards from the University of Southern Mississippi is Shatiri Thompson. Good afternoon, my name is Shatari Thompson and I am the Mississippi Delta and Southwest recruiter for at the University of Southern Mississippi. And it is my pleasure to be with you all this afternoon. On behalf of Dr. Joe Paul, president of the University of Southern Mississippi, our faculty, staff, and students, the Office of Admissions is pleased to award scholarships to 15 students from the Mississippi School of the Arts, totaling over 294,000 over four years. These students have received scholarships based on several qualities, including academic merit, leadership potential, and community service. I am happy to, rec to recognize the following students. Uh, receiving our Academic Excellence Scholarship, Kennedy AG. Um, Shakira Brent. Asana Chapman. <laughs> Kara Courtney. Aubrey Douglas. <laughs> Receiving our academic excellence and Martha Faye McIntosh Albert for our endowment, Aaron Gathright. <laughs> Thank you. 
Annabelle Laird. Sarah Lawrence. Aero Mir. Aero is receiving our Academic Excellence and Star Student Award. Chloe Malone. Charlie McDuffie. <laughs> Kaisha Quinn. receiving our Academic Excellence and Girls State Award, or scholarship, I'm sorry, Avery Smith. <laughs> James Smoked. Congratulations to the class of 2024, Southern Miss to the top. Here to present scholarship awards from the Mississippi University for Women is Melissa Sasser. Thank you, and please bear with me, I am a little nervous. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is Melissa Sasser and I'm a proud alumna of the W. I'm honored to represent the W today on behalf of President Nora Miller, the faculty, staff, students, and over 26,000 alumni of our university. I'm pleased to present the following Mississippi School of the Arts students with scholarships to further their education. And I have to apologize in advance, I did not get the scholarships. So if you don't mind when you come up here, I'll just shake your hand and welcome you to the long blue line. Our first scholarship is awarded to Kennedy, a G, and she's awarded the Ken Cannon Scholarship worth $8,000 over four years. Our next scholarship goes to William Magic. He is awarded the Franklin Scholarship. The Franklin Scholarship, which is worth $12,000 over four years. The next one is Aubrey Douglas and is awarded the Presidential Scholarship which is worth $22,000 over four years.
The next scholarship is Joshua Clark and is awarded the Presidential Scholarship, which is worth $22,000 over four years. <laughs> Thank you. We wish all the seniors congratulations on your upcoming graduation and best wishes as you enter the next chapter of your life. Here to present scholarship awards from William Carey University is Mr. Austin Burns. Good afternoon. My name is Austin Burns. I'm an admissions counselor and a recruiter for the southwest part of the state and as well as Louisiana. On behalf of our university president, Dr. Ben Burnett, faculty, staff, alumni, office of admissions, and the rest of our William Carey family, I'm honored to present a scholarship to one outstanding student here at the Mississippi School of the Arts. This student has earned an on-campus total of $39,000 in scholarships over the course of the next four years. Receiving the trustee scholarship with a four-year on-campus total of $39,000 is L. Ron Gathright. <laughs> Congratulations to L. Ron and to the rest of the class of 2024. May the Lord be with you all as we strive to do what Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says, and trust in him, acknowledge him in all of our ways. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of Northwest Community College, I would like to recognize James Smoot and Kendall Mosley with the Northwest Choir Scholarships. Each year, the Mississippi School of the Arts keeps track of the dollar amounts the senior class earns in scholarships. As of today, 28 of our 37 seniors have reported at least some of the scholarships they have earned. We will continue to keep track of scholarships earned throughout the summer, and we encourage students to continue to report their awards that they have earned so that we can have an accurate amount for the total for the class of 2024. As I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Please hold your applause until the end. To date, the following students have earned these dollar amounts. James Smoot, 15,000. We can clap. Gabrielle Robinson, 10,000. Andrew Tran, 20,000. Annabella Laird, 28,000. Chloe Malone, 28,000. Kara Courtney, 54,500. Sarah Lawrence, 84,000. Aubrey Douglas, 86,000. Avery Smith, 117,000. Emma Powney, 132,000. Charlie McDuffie, 141,540. Neon Camp, 196,000. <laughs> Izzy Chapman, 260,376. <laughs> Lamaya Bounds, 272,000. <000. laughs> 
William Magic, 302,000. Aaron Erder, 314,000. Elyria Holmes, 409,996. Kendall Mosley, 452,000. Aira Mayer, 665,200. Shakira Brent, 687,000. Brennan Tarrant, 1,044,500. 1, Elron Gathright, 1,254,152. To date, the class of 2024 has earned a grand total of 7,721,312. Seven million seven hundred and twenty one thousand three hundred and twelve. <laughs> Congratulations, class of twenty twenty four. The Mississippi Scholars Program was formed by the Mississippi Economic Council. This initiative is an education program managed by the Public Education Forum of Mississippi. In order to receive this distinction, students must complete community service hours and a specified rigorous course selection. These students will be honored at a beautiful reception on Sunday, April 21st at East Haven Baptist Church. They will receive a scholarship from the Mississippi Scholarship Program as well as a medallion. We have 10 Mississippi scholars this year. As I call your name, please stand and be recognized and remain standing until everyone has been recognized. Izzy Chapman, Kara Courtney, Aubrey Douglas, Chloe Malone, Aira Mayer, Emma Powney, Kaisha Quinn, Avery Smith, Renata Townsend, Asia Windham. Congratulations, our Mississippi scholars. Each year, the Mississippi School of the Arts consistently ranks among the top schools in the state for average ACT scores. And this year, we would like to recognize students who have demonstrated excellence on the ACT. And the following students have earned a composite score of 30 or higher. Students, please stand when I call your name to be recognized. Sam Crump, Lucy Dick, Cooper Finley, Elron Gathright, Julia Landry. Congratulations. I would like to recognize Aira Nicole Mayer as our star student for the 20th. <laughs> the star program was established by the Mississippi Economic Council in 1965, and the purpose of this program is to recognize our outstanding students and teachers in Mississippi. STAR students are selected on the basis of academic excellence in both American College test scores and scholastic averages are compared to determine the school's STAR student. Each STAR student is asked to designate a STAR teacher. It is the teacher who has made the greatest contribution to the student's scholastic achievement. 
Mr. Maurice Calvert, please stand. He is our MSA star student. Congratulations to Mr. Calvert and Aira. Good afternoon. I'm Avery Piegler, principal of MSA, and we are moving to the um, MSA awards sec section of our award ceremony. Um, this year, we have a student who earned the gold award in Girl Scouts of America, which is a tremendous amount of work. Here to recognize her is Barbara Higgins from the Girl Scouts of Greater Mississippi Ambassadors and Senior Leader Troop 5012. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here representing Girl Scouts of Greater Mississippi, Troop 5012. I'd like to call to the stand Gabrielle Robinson. <laughs> Congratulations on earning a Girl Scout Gold Award, the highest award in Girl Scouting. Your commitment and willingness to strive for excellence makes you living proof of Girl Scouts bills, girls with courage, confidence, character, who make the world a better place. In earning the Girl Scout Gold Award, you join a long history of women, beginning in 1916, who have earned this prestigious award by bringing Girl Scout promise and law to life and making a difference in your community. We are proud to have you as part of the girl movement and we hope you will continue your membership as an alumni as well as a volunteer leader involved in our community. We want to continue to make experiences such as yours available to other girls in your community. Again, we and the entire membership congratulate you on your outstanding achievement. We know your future will be filled with success and accomplishments, and we look forward to hearing great things from you. I now present to you your Girl Scout cord, which you are to wear for your graduation. I present to you your Girl Scout Gold Award pin, as well as your alumni pin, which you are to wear at graduation. And now, to share some other things, scholarships. By receiving your Girl Scout Gold Award, you receive from Mississippi College $500 per year to students who achieve this award. From Delta State University, $4,000. From Mississippi State University, $2,000. From Ole Miss, $6,000. From the University of Southern Mississippi, $4,000. From Millstaff University, you receive $60,000. From the HBCU universities, when you apply for any scholarship on their, on their program, make sure to mention your Gold Award success and you will be rewarded. If you decide to go into the military, you will be enlisting at a higher pay grade than anybody else going in at your time. <laughs> And from Troop 12, we would like to present this to you. And it reads, on my honor, on my honor I, will try I will try to serve God, to serve God and, my country, and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. Go, girl. <laughs> 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 and as she goes back to her seat, her Gold Award project was Take Off the Mask. And what it entails, she was strengthening youth mental health. 
And we really appreciate that, Gabby, because we know that's one of the leading things with young people now. And in that project, she had to complete 90 hours of volunteer service, which she did that. Gabby, which we call her Gabby, <laughs> Gabby has been a Girl Scout since she was a daisy, since she was five years old. So she has gone from five years old to where she is now, and we are very proud of her. And from ninth grade to 12th grade, Gabby has put in over 400 volunteer hours in her community. Congratulations, Gabby. We also had the recipient of the Lions Club Scholarship due to leadership and service. Here to recognize her as a representative of the Lions Club Board, Ms. Betsy Landers. Good afternoon. On behalf of the Madison Lions Club, I'd like to present Avery Smith with a scholarship for $3,000. And we must apologize, we did have one oversight. Um, a young woman who has been to our, is no stranger to our campus, has been here several times this year um, recruiting and, and working with our students. Um, Miss Abby McEwen is here to represent Ole Miss to present their scholarship awards. Good afternoon. I bring greetings from Chancellor Glenn Boyce in the University of Mississippi. My name is Abby McEwen, and it has been my pleasure to serve as the Ole Miss Admissions Counselor for the Mississippi School of the Arts for the past five years. I'm here this afternoon on behalf of the university to award scholarships to three very deserving students. Receiving scholarships today are Araya Mayer, She is receiving the Academic Merit Scholarship, the 1848 Scholarship, and the Mississippi Star Student Scholarship. Erin Erder. Erin is receiving the Academic Merit, the 1848, and the UM Raise Me Scholarship. <laughs> and Isana Chapman. She, Isana is receiving the National Recognition Scholar Award. I'd also like to thank everyone here at the Mississippi School of the Arts for assisting us this year and bringing us this ceremony. Students, congratulations and welcome to the Ole Miss family. Hotty toddy. So as we move into the, um, now we're moving into the MSA award <laughs> section of the award ceremony. I apologize, I jumped the gun a minute ago. Um, students, as we call, we will call you by departments and as we do, if you will come up this set of steps right here, walk across, your teachers will be here in the middle to receive your awards and then down those steps. That'll make it go um, a little bit quicker. Um, and we will present our students with departmental acknowledgements and academic awards. I would like to give a brief description of some of the awards the students will receive today. The Angel Award. Discipline is very different at MSA from other schools because our students live here 24 hours a day. It is not an easy task to complete the school year without any disciplinary infractions. For that reason, we recognize all students who have not received any write-ups or have only received a single level one write-up to date with no other significant issues this school year. 
The Floor Model Student Award. The residential life staff under the leadership of Ms. Suze Noble and Mr. Benny Knight feel it is important to acknowledge those who exemplify a model student. These students keep a clean room, are courteous to their roommates and sweet mates, have no or very few write-ups, and are overall good students in a residence life environment. The Citizenship Award. The Residential Life staff acknowledges students who exemplify citizenship on campus. This award recognizes a student who thinks of others, willing to help, has integrity, and demonstrates good character. Arts Ambassadors. Under the leader of Mrs. Jennifer Jackson, Arts Ambassadors play an important role in recruitment and assist with large events on MSA's campus. Social Media Content Creator. Under the leadership of Darian Salter, each discipline has had a student representative to capture moments and memories to assist us with our social media accounts. They submit a reel and photos each month to assist us in highlighting some of our favorite times at MSA. Student Government Association. Led by Ms. Hannah Shea Smith, the SGA is charged with taking on a wide range of responsibilities, which include school-wide events, activities and programs, policy changes, and implementing initiatives for our school which benefit our students both now and in the future. The Humanitarian Award. Students at MSA are encouraged to participate in serving their community. MSA awards the senior who has earned the highest number of community service hours as a high school student. These hours are reported by the student with documentation from the organizations they have served. Honor Roll. This year, SGA made the recommendation and we agree that we should begin recognizing students who have maintained a high standard of success in all of their courses for the entire year. We have two different Honor Roll awards. Academic Honor Roll is awarded to students who have maintained all A's and B's throughout the school year. Principal's Honor Roll is awarded to students who have maintained all A's throughout the school year. At this time, we will acknowledge departmental successes and academic awards. I will ask each discipline teacher to come and briefly speak about the successes of their department for this year. After each, I will present awards to the students in their department. For dance, Ms. Tammy Stanford. Hello, everybody. Bales and Orland, authors of the book Art and Fear, state the difference between acceptance and approval is subtle but distinct. Acceptance means having your work counted as the real thing. Approval means having people like it. Survival, often for young artists, means finding an environment where art is valued and art making encouraged. In a supportive environment, an artistic community, such as MSA and your soon-to-be college environment. Approval and acceptance can be linked, even indistinguishable. However, never be discouraged, because as you continue your arts training, you'll come to realize that the approval of an audience comes later. The first and sometimes the only pure communication will be between, excuse me, you and your work. But never let that discourage you from persevering with resilience. Congratulations to you all. This year's 14th and 15th Repertory Dance Company earned over 200 points and for seniors and 110 points for their National Honor Society for Dance Arts. So congratulations on that. They have performed 15 times in 11 months. Beginning in July of 2023, MSA performed dance, uh, four dance works at the International Dance Festival in Italy. In fall, they performed five times. In particular, highlights were Kinetic Etchings Dance Project Residency and the Bellhaven Community Concert. In the spring, our department performed seven times, in particular, an evening of dance with our uh, resident from Italy, Mr. Antonio Fini, who is also a partner with our department. Duncan, Duncan Dance South invited us to perform with the Hattiesburg Arts Council, which was a fantastic event. And then um, we have upcoming Laurel Magnet School of the Arts, in which we are invited guests to perform for the International Day of Dance. 
our uh, chapter of the National Honor Society for Dance Arts performed, had two performances as part of their community service. One was uh, excerpts from the Nutcracker for our local Girl Scout troop, and then in our uh, MSA Grief Retreat. So we had three works performed in that as featured. So that was a really wonderful time. This fall and winter, we also hosted our ninth annual middle and high school dance festival. Seniors traveled to New York City in October and auditioned for 50 plus colleges and university dance degree programs. Can I please have the seniors who are here stand? Kara Courtney, Charlie McDuffie, and Kaisha Quinn. We have one senior absent. When they traveled to New York City and auditioned, plus the universities that came here for our wonderful College Portfolio Day, they were accepted to over 20 dance degree programs. Columbia College, Dean, George Mason, Rutgers, Goucher, Peabody Conservatory with Johns Hopkins, University of Arts, University of Illinois, University of Louisiana, Long Island University, New World School of Arts, Trinity Labon Conservatory in the UK, Belhaven University, University of Southern Miss, Montclair State, Arizona State, DeSales, and Dean College. Kaisha and Melissa were both awarded the Joan Phelps um, award for Dean College. So let's give them a hand because they talked. <laughs> Renewable scholarships over four years, they topped 1.1 million for the four of them. Congratulations. Great work. Furthermore, they earned between the dance department over $7,000 for the International Festival in July for 2024. I want to say congratulations again and remember you've been accepted and you've been approved for collegiate arts degrees. Now go forth and make art. Congrats. All right, for each discipline we will start with our juniors um, and uh, do their awards and then we'll go on to our seniors. Um, and again, please come down this way and across and down that way, thanks. Um, and I do ask that you hold your applause until all of the students have been recognized so that we can get y'all out, uh, out of here a little expediently, thanks. Um, for the juniors in the dance department, Faith Alford, Angel Award. Yeah. <laughs> Emma Chrysler Rusky. Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Junior Dance Representative, Highest Average Ballet One, Highest Average Chemistry, Highest Average Modern Dance One, Principal's Honor Roll. Maggie Diesendorf, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Junior Class Representative, Highest Average Junior Composition, Principal's Honor Roll. Danica Gilmore, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador. Cadence Jefferson, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador. Edie Kitchens, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador. Highest Average Junior Improvisation, Academic Honor Roll. And now for the seniors, Kara Courtney, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average SREB Math, Academic Honor Roll. Charlie McDuffie, Teacher Assistant Ballet One, Social Media Content Creator, Highest Average Modern Dance Two. Kaisha Quinn, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average Ballet Two, Highest Average Senior Composition, Highest Average Senior Improvisation, Highest Average Modern Dance Two, Highest Average Senior Focus, and Academic Honor Roll. Please give these dance students a hand. <laughs> Next, here to speak about our Literary Arts Program, Dr. Nadia Alexis. Okay, so uh, this year we've had a really successful 
school year, and I'm proud of all of the students. Um, first and foremost, for showing up for themselves, their work, and each other, because I think that's the, the real win that you get to experience on a regular basis. Um, and then we have the contest wins, and so um, I'll say the names of the organizations um, that we got contest wins as well as publications. So we also had an increased number of award wins this year, which was great. We won awards in the William Faulkner Literary Competition, Princeton University 10-Minute Play Contest, Mississippi Theater Association Playwriting Comp Competition, Poetry Out Loud, University of uh, Mississippi Writing Competition, Mississippi Poetry Society High School Student Contest, in which we won all of the spots this year, which was up from last year. Um, the Eudora Welty Ephemera Prize for High School Creative Writing, which we performed higher in this year as well, as well as the Mississippi Scholastic Press Association uh, Best of Mississippi Contest. Uh, we also have a couple of publications that students have gotten through the Mississippi Arts and Entertainment Experience, American High School Poets uh, 2014, 2024 anthology, so that is forth forthcoming. We received 99 total awards for Scholastic Writing Awards, including Gold Keys, Silver Keys, and Honorable Mention Awards. We did have a student who uh, wrote a poem during a guest artist visit, and that won a Scholastic Gold Key Award. So we have several guest artists, well, we have several master classes um, each year through poetry, fiction, nonfiction, and this one was focused on poetry. Uh, and I anticipate that we will have more wins. We do have a podcast, so that has been doing well, and we have more master classes and I think more publications and awards to come. So congratulations to all literaries, and thank you so much. Again, we'll start with the juniors, um, and please hold your applause until all the students in the literary department have been recognized. Georgia Bailey, Angel Award. Cooper Brumfield, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador. SGA Junior Literary Representative, Citizenship Award, Highest Average Intermediate Poetry, Highest Average Junior Practicum in Literary Arts, Highest Average Junior Writing Lab, and Principal's Honor Roll. Carter Hillman, Angel Award. Tierra Jones, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average Playwriting, and Academic Honor Roll. Chrislyn Lance, Arts Ambassador, Academic Honor Roll. Amelia Whitaker, Angel Award, Highest Average Intermediate Poetry, Highest Average Introduction to Literary Arts, Highest Average Junior Practicum in Literary Arts, and Principal's Honor Roll. And now for our senior literaries. Erin Erder, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Fourth Floor Representative, Model Student Fourth Floor, Social Media Content Creator, Academic Honor Roll. Alaria Holmes, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Attorney General, Highest Average Advanced Fiction, Highest Average Advanced Poetry, Principal's Honor Roll. Ava Lambert, Arts Ambassador, SGA Senior Literary Representative, Highest Average Senior Publication, and Principal's Honor Roll. Sarah Lawrence, Angel Award, Highest Average AP English Language, Highest Average Senior Practicum in Literary Arts, Highest Average Senior Writing Lab, and Principal's Honor Roll. Please give all of these literary students a hand. And next, representing our media department is Mr. John Kelly Shelburne.
Good afternoon. Uh, as Dr. Pigler said, my name is John Kelly Shelburne. I run the Media Arts Department here at MSA. Uh, Media Arts, for those who don't know, is our filmmaking program where we learn how to write, produce, direct, and edit short films, both documentary and uh, fiction. Uh, and I, again, thank you so much, all you parents and family members for being here today. Uh, we as a school could not operate without your support. And we thank you so much for allowing these students to join us this year. It's been an amazing year. Um, media, it's funny, um, media is interesting because filmmaking uh, is such a new thing in terms of high school um, that it, there's only a handful of programs throughout the country. And because of that, sometimes the competitions for high school are very, very limited. Uh, COVID certainly uh, caused us some issues in terms of competitions to be able to get into, but luckily we're slowly getting back, and I'm going to talk about those in a few minutes. But this particular year, we've had a lot of really, really great partnerships, uh, such as, for example, uh, there's a company called Mad Genius that uh, came and did a big commercial for us at MSA, and one of the, um, the amazing uh, things that we, our media students got to do was we got to uh, intern for that week that they were here and they got to see how a real professional company works and get to uh, work with them as well. Um, we also had David Wyman, uh, an Oscar nominated sound mixer, come and do a workshop with the students about sound mixing and sound design. Um, uh, Ashley Heathcock, uh, who is a major uh, th theater and film uh, costume designer who's on some of your favorite shows and TV. Uh, movies uh, and theater productions. She came and did a workshop, not just with the media, but also with the theater students. Uh, and also, most recently, we had a workshop done with Cole Covington, who is a freelance filmmaker who also did some work with Mad Genius. He came and talked to the media students for a week about uh, his experiences in and out of the film industry and offering them advice and critiquing films that they had done and scripts that they were writing. Um, as I mentioned, uh, one of the big things that we did this year was media for the first time uh, finally uh, entered uh, films into Scholastics this year and, and their film and animation uh, category. And we did really well. It, a lot of students did um, enter, entered some really good films, uh, but we had two in particular that really stood out. Uh, both Jade Stokes and Jamie and Wright each got honorable mentions for their films. And, because it, and this is, again, the first year that media entered this competition, and we look forward to even more success in the years to come. The final thing I want to say is that we have started uh, last year a partnership with Mississippi Public Broadcasting, and we're going to continue that partnership. And this year, uh, on May 16th, we will have our, um, our final showcase at uh, MPB in their auditorium. So if uh, you're able to make it, we certainly would love to see you there. So again, thank you again for your support of our media program, and we can't wait to share more of our accomplishments with you. And starting with our junior medias, Jakia Coleman, Principal's Honor Roll. Amari Gallion, Angel Award. Sierra Jones, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Junior Media Representative, Highest Average Introduction to Media, Highest Average Junior Video Audio Production. Tatum Klug, Angel Award, Highest Average Media Arts One. Jade Stokes, Highest Average Junior Film Audio Production, Highest Average Media Arts Two, and Academic Honor Roll. And now for our seniors in media. Joshua Clark, Angel Award, Citizenship Award, Principal's Honor Roll. Aubrey Douglas, Angel Award, Citizenship Award, Model Student 7th Floor, SGA 7th Floor Representative, Highest Average Media Arts 4, Highest Average U.S. Government, Principal's Honor Roll. Parker Irwin, Angel Award, Principal's Honor Roll. William Magic, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Treasurer, Social Media Content Creator, Highest Average Human Anatomy and Physiology, Highest Average Media Arts 3, Principal's Honor Roll. Andrew Tran, Academic Honor Roll. Catrice Tyler, Angel Award, Highest Average Senior Film Audio Production, and Principal's Honor Roll. 
Please give all of these media students a hand. And next up, to speak a little bit about our theater, de theater department, Dr. Robert Brooks. Good afternoon. Uh, senior parents, it's like, wow. It's, I'm already up here again. It seems like I was just here a year ago. Um, it was a really good year. I, it felt really balanced. We had a really good full production senior show in the fall. And uh, we're currently working on a play that's going to open next weekend, uh, William Shakespeare's The Two Gentlemen of Verona. And so we're knee deep in that, or neck deep in that right now. Um, it's about all we can think about, to be honest. Um, so we, we do those two full productions every year. And one of the things that makes this year a little different is the number of student designers we've had working on those shows. I normally do it because it's easier. I've got the experience. Um, but um, both of our shows had a student costume designer. Uh, they were different people. And then for the current production, we've got a student lighting designer and a student sound designer. Uh, uh, two student lighting designers are sharing it, actually. And so that's really exciting this year. Um, the seniors wanted me to say that um, they are the smallest theater graduating company at MSA with five. Uh, so they're proud of that, that they've been able to hang through um, and so um, give them a round of applause. The, the senior theaters have been putting on a set of scenes for the public about every two weeks of classic plays that the juniors are reading all year long. And with five people, that's a lot of work. And they direct. It's where I teach them how to direct. They act, of course. Uh, they cast out of themselves. And they also design these shows. And um, so um, just the five of them doing that all this year has been really impressive. Uh, and they've had to um, double up duties where normally uh, there would be plenty of people to spread out all these jobs. You know, they've been really busy. Um, the juniors this year uh, put on two shows that were written by literary arts students. Uh, this was in December, uh, two one-act plays that they also directed, designed, and performed in. And then one of those two shows was performed at Preview Day in January for our prospective students. Um, and we had two guest artists this year, one in the fall. That was Ashley Heathcock, who also worked with the media students, um, uh, teaching us costume design. And just a couple of weeks ago, we had Cordy Nelson, who was uh, one of our graduating uh, or alumni uh, from Fourth Company, the Fourth Theater Company, she was a junior the very first year I started teaching here. And she got certified in Meisner technique, and she's teaching at a school in Chicago. So she was able to come down here and do three days of Meisner workshops with us, which is an acting technique, uh, for those of you that don't know. It's one of the more popular acting techniques that they teach at college and university level. So um, it was a busy year, and I think we had a little bit of everything. So it was a good year. Please hold your applause until all the students in the theater department have been recognized. Starting with our juniors, Berkeley Caesar, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average Spanish II, Academic Honor Roll. Allie Humphreys, Angel Award. Cassidy McDuffie, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Academic Honor Roll. Alex Palmiter, Angel Award, Highest Average Acting One, Highest Average Acting Two, Highest Average Botany, Highest Average Dramaturgy One, Highest Average Dramaturgy Two, Highest Average Movement for the Actor One, Highest Average U.S. History, Highest Average Zoology, and Academic Honor Roll. Kendra Quarterman, Angel Award, Highest Average Movement for the Actor One. Sarah Smith, Angel Award. Kamaya Whitaker, Angel Award, SGA Fifth Floor Representative. 
And now moving to our seniors in theater, the class of five, Shakira Brent, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA President, Highest Average Acting Four. Annabella Laird, Angel Award, Highest Average Ceramics. Cadence Patton, Arts Ambassador, Academic Honor Roll. Gabby Robinson, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Secretary, Social Media Content Creator. Asia Wyndham, Angel Award, Highest Average Acting 3, Highest Average Movement for the Actor 2, Highest Average SREB Math, Highest Average Theater Company 1, Highest average senior, senior company, excuse me, theater company two. Highest average theater production. Highest average U.S. government. SGA senior senior theater representative. It's a lot of awards, y'all. And principal's honor roll. <laughs> Please give all these theaters. <laughs> And next up to speak about our visual arts department, we have Mr. Maurice Calvert and Ms. Brandy Johnson. Good afternoon. Um, well, first of all, I just want to say I'm really proud of the visual arts department, both juniors and seniors. You both worked very hard this year, and it shows in the accomplishments and the things that you were able to um, engage in this year. So I'll start off. Um, one of the first highlights is, of course, we have Portfolio Day every year, and I think we had a really successful Portfolio Day. Um, the students got a lot of insight as well as scholarship offers from in-state schools as well as uh, the art institutes out of state. Um, the Scholastics Art Competition was a little bit delayed this year, but Regardless of that, we received over 100 awards from Scholastics, 14 gold keys, 31 silver keys, 56 honorable mentions, and one of only two out of the whole state, American Visions Award. So I think that's impressive. Um, we are still waiting on the, the final information from the Congressional Art Competition. Normally, we would have received the information back from that before today, and we will know exactly how we did next week, Monday or Tuesday next week, but I think we'll have a good showing with that as well. So I think the students, y'all should be proud of yourselves. We're proud of you and give yourself a hand. Um, as a department, we took several field trips this year and visited several museums. We went to the Van Gogh Immersive Experience in the fall. We also attended the Peter Anderson Festival in Ocean Springs. The Picasso Landscapes, Out of Bounds, and a Bearden Picasso Rhythms and Reverberations. We had a Black History Art Show with the guest artist King Alvarado. And our seniors will begin their showcases soon. They will be from 5.30 to 7.30. We will have the first one starting April 25th. The next one will be May 2nd, and then the third May 9th. And they will show a collection of their exhibits over the last two years during those shows. They've done a great job this year. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we'll start with the juniors, and again, I ask you to hold your applause to the end. Kalea Anderson, Angel Award, Highest Average Painting 1, Principal's Honor Roll. Iris Barnard, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Citizenship Award, Highest Average Mixed Media, Principal's Honor Roll. Ava Buckley, Angel Award, Academic Honor Roll. Lucy Dick, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Model student, fifth floor, highest average painting one, principal's honor roll. Cooper Finley, Angel Award. 
Brianna Fuentes, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average Drawing One, Academic Honor Roll, Aurora Garduno, Angel Award, Julia Landry, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average Art History, Highest Average Dual Credit English Composition One, Highest Average Dual Credit English Composition Two, Highest Average Dual Credit U.S. History, Highest Average Introduction to Design, Principal's Honor Roll. Sarah Liven, Angel Award, Principal's Honor Roll. Rowan Malone Booker, Academic Honor Roll. Emma Claire Piegler, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Academic Honor Roll. Anna Walton Sheridan, Angel Award, Academic Honor Roll. Olivia White, Angel Award. And now for our visual seniors. Neon Camp, Angel Award, Social Media Content Creator, Highest Average Digital Arts Graphic Design, Academic Honor Roll. Izzy Chapman, Arts Ambassador, SGA Senior Visual Arts Representative, Highest Average Dual Credit College Algebra, Highest Average Earth and Space Science, Principal's Honor Roll. Elron Gathright, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Model Student Third Floor, SGA Third Floor Representative, Highest Average Advanced Portfolio, Highest Average Spanish One, Academic Honor Roll. Chloe Malone, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average Economics, Principal's Honor Roll. Ara Nicole Mayer, Arts Ambassador, SGA Vice President, Highest Average Ceramics, Highest Average Advanced Drawing and Painting, Highest Average Economics, Highest Average Spanish II, Principal's Honor Roll. Emma Powney, Angel Award, Academic Honor Roll. Brennan Tarrant, Angel Award. Candace Tate, Arts Ambassador, Academic Honor Roll. Please give all of these visual students a hand. Next up, to give you a little information about our vocal department happenings through the year, is Miss Sarah Hammond. Hello. <laughs> um, MSA Vocals have had an exciting year so far. Our vocal department have been working tire tirelessly, finding new ways to grow and find personal success. We started the beginning of the year by creating an incredible collaboration with Brookhaven High School that allowed the two schools to come together for a musical collaboration that has been inspiring to both the students and myself. We also started the journey to make history by presenting MSA's first ever musical theater production, Tuck Everlasting. In the early fall, our department attended the University of Southern Mississippi's Choral Conference at the University of Southern Mississippi. <laughs> where the students sang in an honor choir under the direction of Dr. Brandon Williams from Rutgers University in New Jersey. The fall continued to be successful for our vocal students as Hannah Smith, Avery Smith, and Aaliyah McCullum traveled to Arkadelphia, Arkansas to the National Association of Teachers of Singing, NATS for short, regional conference at Wichita Baptist University. Hannah, Avery, and Aaliyah all advanced to semifinals, and Hannah and Aaliyah both competed in finals. Ultimately, Hannah went, placed first in the classical music category, and second in the musical theater category, and all three students were national qualifiers. Just a week after returning to Nats, the entire vocal studio performed in our first cabaret of the year entired, uh, entitled A New World. This cabaret was a huge success for our department, and it featured each of our vocal students as a soloist and multiple duets. 
In December, the MSA BHS Combined Choir had a beautiful winter concert entitled Love's Pure Light that had moving and engaging choral music and our senior soloist. January started out on a high note, vocal music joke, um, <laughs> because after a virtual audition with students all over the state of Mississippi, Avery Smith was chosen for the Mississippi Music Educator Association and American Choral Director Association Conference Masterclass with Dr. Meredith Johnson. And after this masterclass, she had a performance at the University of Southern Mississippi where she performed a musical theater solo as an opening number for the premier choral ensemble at USM, the Southern Chorale. In the month of February, the vocal department worked alongside other disciplines to present an amazing Black History Month production which featured almost the entire vocal department. The end of February brought our state Nats competition in Old Miss in Oxford, Mississippi, where our vocal department found enormous success. In the treble musical theater category, Renata Townsend and Lamaya Bounds were both semifinalists. James Smoot placed fourth, Avery Smith with third place, Leah McCullum in second, and Hannah Smith in first. In the male musical theater category, Samuel Crump placed first, and Parker Burns placed second. I would love to tell you that things calmed down after that, but we are still very actively rehearsing for Tuck Everlasting, and our state's Choir performance assessment came shortly after. State, por state performance assessment was held at Ridgeland High School this year where our combined MSA BHS choir rated superior in both performance and sight reading categories, which gave them the Sweet Stakes Awards. Every score that the choir received at this assessment were 95 and above out of 100. Last Friday, our vocal department had their first ever sweet evening, a night of dessert and song. The cabaret was a huge success and the entire department performed extremely well. As we finish out this school year, we are still working tireless, tirelessly on Tuck Everlasting. Tuck Everlasting is our first full musical that features not only our MSA BHS choir, but students across multiple disciplines. If you are in Tuck Everlasting, will you please stand? Each rehearsal has its challenges, but the cast and I can both assure you that we are having so much fun and we are about to put on an amazing show. Right before our school year comes to an end this year, we have one more combined choir concert. All six of my seniors have been accepted into colleges with music scholarships, and I am extremely proud of not only them, but this entire department. These students have taken my crazy visions and continually pushed the bar higher instead of simply reaching it. Congratulations to our vocal department and our students today, and thank you for making my first year so amazing. Okay, one more time, and I ask you to hold your applause till the end. <laughs> Starting with the junior vocals, Parker Burns, Angel Award, Highest Average Fall Choir Junior, Spring Choir Junior. Sam Crump, Angel Award, SGA Junior Vocal Music Representative, Highest Average Fall Choir Junior, Highest Average Junior Voice, Highest Average Spring Choir Junior, Principal's Honor Roll. Trinijah Franklin, Angel Award. Olivia Abair, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador. Jay Lindsay, Angel Award, Highest Average Algebra II, Highest Average Junior Music Theory, Academic Honor Roll. And now for our vocal seniors. Lamaya Bounds, Arts Ambassador, Highest Average Fall Choir Senior, Academic Honor Roll. Kendall Mosley, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, Social Media Content Creator, Highest Average English for Academic Honor Roll. Avery Smith, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Senior Vocal Music Representative, Highest Average Senior Music Theory, Highest Average Senior Voice, Highest Average Spring Choir Senior, Principal's Honor Roll. James Smoot, Academic Honor Roll. Renata Townsend, Angel Award, Arts Ambassador, SGA Sixth Floor Representative, Model Student Sixth Floor, Highest Average Fall Choir Senior. Please give all of these vocal students a hand.
I want to say congratulations to all of our award winners. We have a few more awards and special recognitions left for our program. Before we move to those and Dr. Hirsch comes to present those, I want to give a credit where credit is due. There's a woman who is up here who is nonstop and she has everything rolling smoothly and she keeps my office rolling. For those of you who know that she was out for six weeks, it didn't run as smoothly as when she's here. We want to thank so much Ms. Tommy Hart for all of her hard work. Wow, okay, that's a lot of accomplishments. Thank you so much for all of your presentations and congratulations to all of you. Before we move into the special recognition, I have one more award that, um, that I wanna make sure that we recognize, and that is our humanitarian award. The humanitarian award um, is encouraged, students are encouraged all the time to give back to their community and they volunteer all the time. And so we have a lot of volunteerism happening among our students. Um, it's very impressive and it's always a wonderful thing for our community here in Brookhaven. But we also get a documentation from the students from doing things outside of of MSA and this year um, I'm gonna ask her to stand because it her certificate should be in our envelope but our humanitarian award winner is Gabrielle Robinson We have an amazing staff and we are small but mighty. Um, we have a they have a tremendous impact on our ability to have success like what we're talking about today. Um, we have every year try to recognize the, the staff members and teachers who have been here um, 10 years or more and in the past 10 years have had their 10 year, I mean the past year have recognized um, their 10 year anniversary um, or they will this coming summer. So I'm gonna ask if they're here to come forward. Um, if they're not, I'm still gonna say their names out loud. Um, we have a little a commemorative gift for you. Um, I don't know that he can because he's got headphones on, but Mr. Patrick Brown, our technology coordinator, who's doing live feed, <laughs> Mr. Patrick Brown. <laughs> Mr. Calvert, Mr. Maurice Calvert. Ms. Vanessa Harris, she keeps the Y Hut moving. You probably all talk to her. She answers the phone as the first person you talk to. So thank you so much, Ms. Vanessa. Um, I know these three are not in here, but um, Ms. Savannah Holmes. Yes. Mr. Benny Knight. And Miss Suzanne Noble. Those, all of these people are wonderful. As you may know, we also have a very important part of our campus retiring this year. And I'd like to recognize this wonderful educator for their impact on MSA as a whole and also recognize their 10 year anniversary. Luann Porter came to MSA in 2012 as our librarian. However, her service has been multifaceted for MSA. Most people around here don't wear one hat. Um, she holds a master's degree from William Carey in special education, a bachelor's degree from USM in library science. While here, she has been the school test coordinator, the yearbook club sponsor, online class monitoring beyond her day-to-day -day duties as, as our librarian. Since 1998, she's worked in education for Long Beach School District, the University of Southern Mississippi, Brookhaven School District, and her quiet nature and attention to detail has been such an asset to our family. This past November, she reached her 10th year with MSA in, in, in this capacity, and she will be greatly missed. Thank you for your service, Ms. Luann. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Luann. She's also taking photos today. All right, it's time for our special awards. We have a few. So our Hall of Fame, um, we instituted this in 2015 to recognize exceptional graduating seniors whose students and staff feel positively have impacted MSA um, and also will carry that education that they've gained here into their careers. 
Six years ago, we added a, a Hall of Fame for the alumni of MSA to the list. Two seniors are recognized this year, and they're unaware of their tremendous gifts. Their humility and willingness to jump in wherever is needed is something to be commended. And here is what students and staff said about our two student representatives. The first recipient has students and staff saying they are so talented. They seem to truly love MSA and are so smart. The sky is the limit as to what they could do. They are dedicated to the school, students, and the work. They're enthusiastic about the arts as a whole. They help with every event on campus, are kind and approachable, a quiet leader. They've changed MSA for the better. I'm proud to know them and call, my, call them my friend. They have won awards for their art through Scholastics and the work is so meaningful to see, teaching us a lot about them. Our first Hall of Fame recipient for the class of 2024 is Erin Nicole Mayer. <laughs> Congratulations, Ava. Pose for a picture, please. Pose for a picture. <laughs> With her. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Yes. Our second senior to be recognized had this said about them. They are involved and committed to MSA in both their art form as well as in res life. They are a leader with positive attitude. They are welcoming. They are community oriented. They are so talented, friendly and helpful. When I first came, they were so helpful and kind to me. I felt welcome because of them. They're confident yet humble. They made a difference here at MSA and are accepting of us all. They worked so hard and made things happen. Their talent is fantastic. I hope they never stop singing. Our second Hall of Fame recipient for the class of 2024 is Renata Townsend. recipient each year is someone who has utilized the education they gained here at MSA to propel where they went from there. This year's recipient is a person who does not teach in the arts or perform on this stage directly, but through their experiences bring the arts to life by volunteering their time in the studio, in theater, wherever they're needed. They hold a Master of Education from Mississippi College and a Bachelor's Degree in History from the University of Southern Miss. For nearly 10 years, they've taught in public school, give voice to students through numerous clubs, organizations, in their classes, and also through leadership and sponsorship. She's a Khan Academy educator, Edulastic educator, Ed Puzzle coach, Kami certified educator, and has served as a guest artist at MSA for dance over the years. This year's recipient is certified to teach in multiple academic subjects, including history, AP, history, French, this year's recipient is unique as they are actually here at MSA as a teacher and is actively in literally every facet of our campus. They are none other than our social studies teacher, SGA sponsor, diversity club sponsor, crochet club sponsor, and assistant director of Tuck Everlasting, Ms. Hannah Shea Smith. <laughs> Congratulations, Anna Shea. Okay, so frequently we have students who cross over into many arts disciplines other than the major that they came here to study. And this year, for the first time, we've instituted the Universal Artist Award to honor that effort. 
We selected two students who've made a significant artistic contribution through creation, submission, performance, and or coursework beyond the requirements of MSA. These students took classes beyond their arts discipline and the high school requirements that we set for them. They received recognition for their work other than their chosen art form here and have made a substantial impact through artistic inquiry, training, and creativity. The first recipient took coursework in another arts discipline on campus, have submitted and received war awards for their work in this course, as well as in academic classes and on their own. They took AP courses, dual credit courses academically. Awards have included scholastic writing awards and collegiate writing competitions. They're unassuming and never look for recognition, but always willing to step in to help classmates or staff. Their humble nature does not diminish the significant artistic talent demonstrated beyond their art form here at MSA. The first recipient is Joshua Clark. Are you mad that I called your name? He doesn't like to get up on the stage. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh. Take a picture. <laughs> Congratulations. Our second recipient came to us demonstrating multiple talents and has fully seized the opportunity to explore creativity here in so many ways. Since they arrived, they participated in artistic programs both at MSA and Brookhaven High School. They're involved in not only their art form, but two other art forms here on campus. They'll graduate with 11 arts classes beyond the eight credits that we require at MSA. That's 19 arts credits. We only need 26 to graduate, um, so that, that's a lot of work. This person's received Scholastic Arts Awards, participated in two ensembles, the upcoming musical, and this week's informal dance concert. They do this out of sheer artistic curiosity, never seeking recognition, and our second recipient is Elron Gathright. <laughs> Mr. Land, if you would come forward. I'm going to explain why in just a second. All right, so the Mississippi School of the Arts Foundation is honored to award the Vicki Land Memorial Scholarship for the third year this year. This award honors the life work of beloved community member and artist Vicki Arrington Land. Vicki was a well-respected art teacher and innovator for many years. Born and raised in Brookhaven, she obtained a fine arts degree from Louisiana Tech University. And after teaching on the secondary level in Shreveport, moved back to Brookhaven in 1977, where she continued to teach art at Brookhaven High School. After retiring, Land continued to be an advocate for art education and taught students and adults out of her studio. She was very active in producing her own work in watercolor and pottery, which was sold both privately and in local shops around here. Until 2020, she also served as an adjudicator for visual art applicants at MSA, and many of the students who came here were, were directly selected by her. Her legacy continues through her daughter, Brandy Johnson, who is an established artist and teacher here at MSA in Visual Art. In order to honor Ms. Vicki, the Land family established this scholarship to encourage and support students who desire to continue Mrs. Land's love and passion for the arts by pursuing a future in art education or fine art. The Vicki Land Memorial Scholarship will provide a $500 scholarship each year for the next 10, for 10 years total to deserving students of Mississippi School of the Arts Visual Arts Program graduates pursuing a degree in art education or fine art. Mr. Mike Land, Ms. Vicki's husband, and Ms. Brandy Johnson are here to present the scholarship in memory of Ms. Vicki. This year's recipient plans to major in graphic design at the University of Southern Mississippi. Please help me congratulate this year's recipient of the Vicki Land Memorial Scholarship to Chloe Malone.
Congratulations, Chloe. Thank you, Mr. Murray. Thank you so much. Okay, we're almost there, y'all. I just have to flip one more time. The, the Mississippi School of the Arts Foundation has also been very important to the health of our school. They give five, six Artistic Excellence Foundation scholarships each year to a senior in each arts discipline that's developed their craft and exceeded the expectations of their arts discipline teacher. To meet the criteria for this scholarship, a student must have the highest grade average in their arts discipline over the two years here at MSA. We're excited to, rep to present these awards on behalf of the foundation to these deserving students. The scholarship is $750, and the dance recipient is Kara Courtney. If you'll stay up here, we're going to announce all six and take a picture with you. Congratulations, Kara. For literary arts, we have Sarah Lawrence. Media, Aubrey Douglas. For theater, Asia Wyndham. For visual art, Aaron Nicole Mayer. And for vocal music, Avery Smith. Y'all look at Miss Luann so you can take your picture. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, artistic excellence. MSA's Teacher of the Year is voted upon by teachers and students of MSA. It's an honor among peers and from the students. This year's teacher had the following things said about them from their peers and the students. Effort. Constant effort towards student success and how they can serve MSA. Consistently striving to improve. They work hard to improve achievement, which directly impacts their scholarship dollars and college acceptance. They've been so sweet and understanding since my first day. They've given many different ways of learning and served as a role model for all of us. Very supportive and understanding, a careful approach to teaching, a brilliant teacher and a kind person. Each year there's an evaluation of what we have in place, recommendations for improvement, and takes action to find ways to make the solutions come to life. There's no ego attached to their daily approach, only the desire to help. They are reinvesting and reinventing all the time. The Teacher of the Year is Ms. Toby Lambert. I, don't, I didn't expect this at all. Um, thank you so much. That's really the privilege of working here is that's enough. And so thank you all. Thank you for being my students and thank you for sending your students here and allowing us to be a part of their lives. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you all so much. <laughs> So two things happened today when I uh, got up this morning. I checked my memories on Facebook, and the first thing that popped up 
was a year ago today we instituted or we announced the institution of Collegiate Academy and I thought it was very fitting that today we recognize the completion of our first year in that and we have had such a good year with them. I'm extraordinarily proud and I told them that earlier today um, at how much work they've put in. We have students who have completed 30 credit hours towards college, um, which is unbelievable in one year with all the other stuff that's required of them to be here. The second thing that happened today was I got an email from the National Society of High School Scholars awarding a grant to the Mississippi School of the Arts educator for diversity, equity, and inclusion in teaching from NSHSS, the Klaus Nobel of the family that established the Nobel Prizes co-founded the National Society of High School Scholars to continue the legacy of their family's excellence and world betterment. The mission of NSHSS is to provide a rich and distinctive continuum of experiences and opportunities that further our members' academic goals encourage their aspirations, and connect them with resources, mentors, and peer networks as they progress from high school to college and career. So today, we get to announce that there was a grant received by our Teacher of the Year, which has been invested back into you as her students. So I just wanted to recognize that as well. So thank you so much, Ms. Lambert. She spent part of her spring break using that grant to educate herself to create more programs for our students here. I mean, it's just extraordinary to the teachers that we have here. They all give so much of themselves here. And I just felt really excited that I saw this letter today. It came in and they said, please let us know if we can come to your ceremony. I'm like, well, it's today, so <laughs> probably not, but I'll recognize it anyway. So um, before I close, we have a few housekeeping things while I have you all captive in this room. Um, juniors, so you have a registration code to, to register for next school year, and it'll be in an envelope for you as you check out today. If your parents aren't here, please put it somewhere where you can give it to them when you get home. Parents, get it and follow the instructions on the paper so you can get that done. Um, you will need to have that finished before you check out at the end of the semester, and it'll be easier if you do it before you lose the paper. Um, because I would do, I would lose the paper. Um, also, you need to take some stuff home today. We got lots of mamas and daddies and guardians and aunts and uncles take a stash of stuff out of that room and start taking it home because we got a lot of stuff, all right? Um, and they don't need to bring it back. They just need to keep the stuff they need for the end of the year. Um, so take a load of stuff home. We have just over a month left and it'll make it easier on you at move out time. Um, also, Seniors have exams that will be finished by no later than May 17th. A lot of parents have asked me, you know, when will they be done? So seniors will be done by the 17th. The 18th is new student day, and we do want the juniors to be here, but the seniors are excused from that day. Um, the juniors will be having exams and will be done no later than the 21st. So please plan to move your student out as soon as they finish their exams. So let's close out our day. Um, let's give these students first a very big round of applause. So this is the beginning of the commencement for, from now until graduation. It's going to go really, really fast. It's a tradition for our seniors to normally ring the bell before graduation. And since we are able to hold our graduation right in here, on May the 23rd, all of the seniors will ring it as they process up here um, to go to graduation instead of at the end of today. Um, we will be holding our graduation at 2 p.m. here on May 23rd, and everyone will need to get their tickets, and those tickets will be given to the seniors when they're in, when they take their um, graduation cap and gown home. Um, and that's done when on check out. check out process when you go through that whole thing, okay? so. I want to thank all of you. Your students are amazing. They blow us away every day, and it makes coming to work for all of us such a special, special thing. We love working with all of you. We are very proud of all of the accomplishments, and I hope that you will um, give yourselves a pat on the back because you have definitely earned it. Let's go finish this year strong and be amazing and have a wonderful, restful weekend. Thank you.